Guys, this is the final exercise. Watch this closely. Phil's going to round out his tricep training here with the one arm tricep cable press down. Phil, why do you finish with this exercise? Oh, because this is a cool, cool exercise, really. <laughs> um, you know, and I can do a lot of variations with it. You know, it's something I learned on a few photo shoots I've done, shooting cover shots with flex. Because the, the photographers love this shot, yeah. don't they? Yeah, and it, I mean, I can, I mean, all I'm doing is starting right here, palms facing me. Yep. And then I'm coming down and then just out. Yep. And One right arm here. again for the symmetry situation. Absolutely. Yeah? Work both arms symmetrically. And then you can always change it up with the palms facing out and then come this way too. Great variety. You know, you can always come here. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you can come here. Well. I mean, you can do a lot of different stuff with this. Mm -hmm. A lot of different stuff. Make so it, do you change the angle workout to workout or set to set on the same workout? Honestly, I can do it within the same set. Right, so okay. I can do So I can do five this way. Five this way. Yep. Five this way. Yep. Five that way. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I can the do it however. Yeah. yeah, and it changes it up because, the, you know, we all do the do these workouts, and we want a little bit of variety. We want our mind to have some variety too. Yes. You don't want to be doing the same thing. I mean, gosh, I'm, I'm 32 years old. I hope to be, you know, still lifting until I'm 80 years old. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do the same workout. Yep. I don't want to do the same thing. It's kind of like eating chicken breast every day, every yep. day, same old thing. Yep. Sometimes you have to change up that meal, right? Yep. Throw a little sauce on it or something like that. That's what I'm doing with this. I'm keeping my mind fresh and thinking, okay, but I'm still not going away from losing the contraction. I'm still having the same focus. I haven't really moved my body all that much. Yeah. Doing it this way. Yeah. And it's pretty neat. I mean, I can just come here and kind of get the best of both worlds. Yep. And I can make sure, if I can use my other arm too, making sure that underneath here, yep. I'm feeling it. Yep. I can come here. So if you make touch sure I, the muscle, it helps the well, connection with the mind? Well, for sure, because I know that it's contracting. Yeah, gotcha. You know, okay. Other, otherwise, you almost need someone that like me spotting you to make sure that it's actually firing. Yes. Because if it's not firing, then we have to check our technique and maybe we have an injury. Who yeah. knows? Yeah. Because if your muscles aren't firing correctly, maybe you have an injury, you need to go see a physician, something yeah. like that. Yep. Get some massage work done, active release therapy or something like that. Yeah, gotcha. Because hey let's face it, you know, we're all gonna get injuries here and there. And uh, we need to assess those properly to maintain, you know, proper growth. Gotcha. But this exercise I like to go, you know, three to four sets. Uh you know, about, your rep again, 15 I'd say again? about 15. Anytime I can go more than 15, I increase the weight. Gotcha, okay. And that's, you know, I know that's something a lot of guys want to know, like, when do I increase the weight? What should I start off with? You know, the, by this time, you're already warmed up. It, you can go right into working sets. Yeah, sure. So just go right into it. If you're a little nervous because you haven't used this machine before, use this exercise, you know, pick a decent weight. You'll know what then a couple reps if it's too heavy or not. Exactly. And then adjust it accordingly. Don't worry about what other people are thinking. Yep. Don't worry about anything. This is about you. Yep. And have fun with it. Excellent. Can you do about 10 reps for us to yeah, show sure. us the technique? So again, isolation movement, guys. You can see the triceps working, getting a great stretch from this angle as well as Phil. And again, a great contraction. You can see the triceps working, all three heads. Changing the grip there, doing the overhand variety, the spice of life, the spice of Phil's training. So, um, Phil, I've got to say a big, big thank you. You know, you've really treated the fans. Our interview we did was was really phenomenal, mate. I've oh, got to say you. there was some great tips there, and and uh, letting us in on your mindset, I think, is very, very powerful stuff. For sure. The training, we need to know how to train properly. We can see, you know, your attention to detail with your training right. has created this attention to detail with the physique. So. For sure. We, we thank you again, mate. We wish you all the best with your future um, endeavours with Mr. Olympia and, and running around the world and, and inspiring all these young guys and young girls to be healthy, be mindful and, and develop a great physique. So is there anything you want to say before you head off to your next appointment? Well, I definitely want to say thank you, you know, for an awesome time here. And uh, thank you guys for watching. You know, I, I really appreciate each and every one of you, you know, supporting the sport of bodybuilding. And uh, make sure, you know, to support MrSupplement.com.au, also Team Muscle Tech, you know, MuscleTech.com, and myself, Philippe.com, and, and, you know, support the sport of bodybuilding because, you know, without that, I don't know where I'd be, and you never know. One of you guys that are watching could possibly be Mr. Olympia someday, and I hope that I, you know, was able to help you get there. You heard it folks, Phil Heath, Mr. Olympia, a true gentleman, a true champion, and a great representation for our sport. So follow him, follow Muscle Tech, and thanks for joining us at mrsupplement.com.au.